Hey, and welcome back to the channel again. Well, I'm saying again, thanks for watching, <laughs> first of all. But I'm saying again because there is another Victron Venus AS update. And this video is talking about a Victron Venus AS update to version 3.22. I'm a little bit behind, so we'll jump right into the change log. Then we'll do the updates on my Raspberry Pi 4. And then we'll do the update on the Raspberry Pi 3. First, the test unit, then the production unit. So that's what I call it. I hope it makes sense for you. For me, it does. Let's look at the change log. Here it is. And I tried to mark already what we're talking about. We're talking about the version 3.2020, which was released February 27th, which is now two days ago. They had a bigger update up there, the 3.20. And that update was definitely bigger. There were more changes in it. Please feel free to watch it if you want to. This video will purely look at the 3.22, and it has because it's an increase from 21. There's another video up to the version 22 and you can see there are some bug fixes and that's what it's focusing on so looking at the change log please feel free to pause since i'm just jumping through it i'm not reading every single word for you sorry i'm pretty sure you can read i try to record in good quality so hope it works out uh here we see the change fix in mqtt again then we have an improved firmware update stability for the energy meter pretty cool and then we have a bug fix sometimes also, this is the same energy meter when connected over VE CAN. And then we have a GUI, fixed text and alarm and warnings, notification of BMS and charge alarms. So um, in case you have those issues or one of those is issues, please feel free to update. It's not required. You don't need to do that. That's what I wrote in here, I believe. It contains the stability improvements that affect a few specific types and situations. If you have one of those, feel free to update. We'll go ahead and we'll update my Raspberry Pi 4, which is my test device. As always, it has two one wires connected. And here you can also see the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, which is installed through Setup Helper. And we'll just do the same routine as always. Go to settings, go to firmware. We'll check, okay, firmware version is the 321, the last version I updated. We'll jump into online updates. We wanna have the official release. This image type is normal. We can see it found already the version 3.2020. Um, I wanna do just one more check. And there it is. And we'll double click here and we'll let it update. So I'm double clicking now. It's downloading. Oh, that download was so fast. It's installing already. And when it's rebooted, most likely it will reboot, I guess. Um, we'll be back and then we'll continue with the quick tests we do here. And it looks like it is connecting. So it's back up and running, but we can see Setup Helper is not installed yet. Nor anything else like the one OS and whatnot. Slowly getting back. Last indication usually is the GUI mods with the Setup Helper, which just needs a reboot of the front end sometimes. Sometimes a full reboot. Let's reconnect, and there we are. We do have our Setup Helper installed. You can see that the one wire is a bag. We can see the GUI mode is installed because the settings is here on top and we can see the change to dark mode. When we click, double click on page, we usually switch over to GUI mods. Oh, looks like there's another reboot or reconnect. Let's reconnect. Yep, there we're back. Let's go to menu. Let's go to settings. Firmware. We can see version 3.22 is installed. Let's do online updates real quick. Press and check, no newer version available. We'll go back to menu really quick, settings, all the way down to package manager. By the way, that's the setup helper. Up there's a video how to install it. Helps you especially keeping your application installed, which is really nice. I do enjoy it. Um, thanks to Kevin who installed it, even though I don't know him, but um, amazing job, really. So far, knocking on wood. It works pretty, pretty well for me. Let's check active packages. So we can see setup helper is installed in the version 6.8. We can see the recipe display setup um, is installed as well, as well as the Venus OS temperature. And then we have the good mods. Everything looks good and installed. That's pretty much all I can test. I promise you, or at least I mentioned it. I want to promise it to you. I will connect the relay board pretty soon again to include in all the updates again because a couple uh, people were reaching out and asking about that because they're using it so 
I want to make sure that we have it also set up. But uh, it was too quick that this fix, bug fix, came out. So uh, I wasn't ready to install it yet. So it should be fairly simple to have it next time ready for you. All right, that's uh, my Raspberry Pi 4, which is the test device. Let's switch over to Raspberry Pi 3, which is my production unit. And it's usually in the dark mode, just to make you less confused. All right, we can see we have a couple devices connected to propane tank, sorry, uh, propane tank, which is a sensor connected via Bluetooth. Pretty cool. Oh, we can see the batteries at 2.91. Always good to check in. We have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. We have the smart chunt, Victron smart chunt, and a Victron smart solar charger MPPT connected. A couple more devices gives you a little bit more indication if they still work after this update. Let's go to firmware. We can see also 3.21 online updates. Uh, we're using a still official release, but a large version here. And we can see it found already the 3.22. As always, I like to just double check. It's there, go ahead, double click and download. After reboot, we'll be back. All right, let's reconnect. There we are. That looks good. Propane tank, recipe processor, temperature, smart chunt, and MPPT. Let's change to the GUI mod really quick. Pages, takes a little time. You can see it. I wonder if the propane tank is 40%. Maybe I have to double check that. We'll go to settings, firmware. We can see version 3.22 is installed. Let's go online updates. Let's do press for checking, any updates. No new version available. That's great. We'll go back two times. We'll go all the way down. Same with as we did before, package manager. Here we can see active packages and we can see setup helper, shutdown monitor, Venus temperature, processor, GUI mods installed. As I mentioned before, Raspberry Pi GPIO setup is not uh, set up and installed because I don't have my relay board connected. Waiting for that one, coming soon. So that's all we needed to see. Looks good to me. Right now I do not have connected the display. It's a good question if that one works. I should connect it as well next time. I have it for my test device up here. My production unit is downstairs, um, further away. So I'm not checking it at always. I'm using the remote apps. So it would not be useful for me, but um, I think for you it's useful to understand if it works after the update. All right, that was all, version 3.22. If you have any more questions, any suggestions, anything else you wanna see and connect, please leave it in the comment section below. If you wanna have more updates about Victron, here I'm putting it. Victor and Venus updates. Um, I usually like to do those insults just to give you an idea and indication. Is there a major break or should it just work flawlessly? Um, remember, my installation is fairly simple and small compared to, to probably yours. That's always um, some kind of disclaimer, disclaimer I want to give you. But other than that, I hope it gives you a good indication. If you like that stuff, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers!